All right, folks. This is Sultai Emergence. Uh, there's not really a lot of new cards in this deck. It's pretty similar to what it was before. Uh, but I'll, we'll kind of go over exactly what's going on here. So a uh, lot of self-mill. As you can see, we have four Otherworldly Gaze, four Picklock Prankster, four Founding the Third Path, and four Falaji Archaeologist. So 16 ways to self-mill. And then from there, it's pretty straightforward. Your goal is put one of these big things into your graveyard, mill a bunch of cards, get eight, seven or eight permanents with Scrubbing Emergence, put big thing into play, step three, profit. That's it. Um, and then past the self mills, we have a couple of other ways to do that. We have two Steam Core Scholar, three mana, two, two flyer. When it ETBs, you draw two, discard two. And then Tempest Heart, which is two mana instant, draw two, discard two. And then rounding out the deck, we have two Terror Tides and one Jace. But it, the deck really just is Emergence, self mill, fatties. That's it. It's really nothing else to it. Uh, another slight new addition here that does matter, not a ton. But we have three Surveil Lands, two Hedge Maze, and one Undercity Sewers. Sideboard also is just really clean. Four Cut Down, four Duress, uh, two Wraths against Convoke, two Jace against Domain, and then three Anoints against, like, you know, Bats and Golgari and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, this deck is super straightforward. I think it's very powerful as long as you're not playing against uh, Graveyard Hate, which there's not a ton of in this format. So hopefully we can go ahead and dodge those. But let's see how we do. Ooh. You know, I mean, cards that you don't want in your hand. I think I'm going to mull this. I don't know if this is better. It does have a Surveil Lamp, which is nice. Uh, which one of these big things is better in my opening hand? Like, if I have to draw a discard, probably a Traxa. Alright, Sewers, save me. Certainly don't want that. We just want any spell to cast off Founding. I'm not going to be picky. Just literally any card to cast off Founding is perfect. Uh, I guess we Fahita Man this turn. I want to try to get some value off of Falaji. Or Founding, rather. Well, that's the downside to playing uh, to playing Adventures, huh? Because you can't hit them off of Falaji. Awkward. Yeah, there we go. Attack for one, Giga Chad. Are there any cards you think we should pick up before the Pioneer RCQ season starts? Uh, I have not really thought about that that much. Potentially. I mean, I'm sure a lot of it's going to be the same as it was last season, right? No, Roots is after this. All right. Take a second emergence. Seven permanents in the graveyard. That's a very convenient number. Eight, actually. I'd prefer to have a Traxa before Titan is my first threat, but can't complain. Steel Seraph. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be good enough. All right, mill myself for four. I'll take a one with the multiverse. Eh... Alright, Atraxa. Atraxa me. Choose up to five. I will select land. Uh, sorcery. Enchantment. Creature instant. And then I could discard multiverse to hand size. Just not play my land. Next turn, get the multiverse back. Does that make sense? Uh, the other alternative is map onto a Traxa. I kind of want to put this in my graveyard, though. I could try to hit a land off of the map. I mean, honestly, it's probably fine if I miss, right? Uh, graveyard that, because then I could just Scholar. I can Scholar the Multiverse into the Graveyard. I also might upkeep Otherworldly. Okay, this is, like, kind of fine. Skrelv. 
Okay, what's my plan this turn? Plan this turn is flashback emergence get Titan. But I really want, I just want to find lands. I'll keep all three of those. Okay, so flashback this, cast this, target Titan, auto pay. And then we go 4-4 four, four, shatter, blow up this, play this pass. Next turn, draw land six, we can go scholar, discard multiverse, play land, emergence, multiverse, play Atraxa. Yeah, I mean, it also helps that we're playing against a very, very slow deck, right? Like, our opponent just gave us infinite time this game. I think Multiverse kind of puts it over the top for me. Uh, when I tried this before, I had... What's the, the new angel that you can... Um, you can collect evidence 10 instead of playing your cards? I had that over Multiverse, but I actually think Multiverse is better. We're just playing a second Skrelf. Yeah, Conspiracy Theorist, I think is what it is. But I, I think I like the Multiverse better. Because it also hits the... It, it Multiverse can hit spells off the top of your deck, too. So it just, like, draws you extra cards. Uh, Decline? Two. No, come back. I wasn't done. You get back here. Get over here. All right, what do you want against uh, Mardu Skrelv? Mardu Skrelv. Probably not a lot, right? What kind of graveyard hate do you think they have? They could have Hearse. That's my one issue with this, is I feel like we should have something to answer Hearse postboard. Like, we have no Terra Sunders or anything like that. Now, granted, you need to have, like... You need to make sure that you don't have uh, extreme, extreme high density of spells postboard, because you need enough permanence for Emergence. Is cut down good in this matchup? I just don't think I care about Skrelv. I guess they had the Bodyguard, but if they have Skrelv and Bodyguard, then I have to draw two cutdowns to kill the Skrelv and the Bodyguard, and it's just... I don't think that's worth it. Well, the issue with Pick Your Poison is what if they have more than one artifact in play? Like, a lot of the decks that have Hearse might also have other artifacts that they can just sack. So I think I'd rather have Terra Sunder at that point. I'm going to keep this. This remix is really good, by the way. Kind of slaps. Can I founding, uh, cast founding off founding? Gringe. I'm just losing value off the founding. I might still go Chapter 1 here. But I could play Tap Land. Actually, what if I just go Tap Land here, next turn Scholar, turn 4 Double Founding. Maybe that's better. If you want to keep permanent density high, can you play the 3-3 three, three that can disenchant for 4? Uh, Strom Call to Vanguard or whatever it is. I guess you could. That card's really expensive, though. Is it really disenchant for four? That seems way too slow. All right, I discarded Traxa. She got sulking. In the queue. What are you cooking over there? That's fine. Kind of want this in the graveyard anyways. you cooking over there could bronze it on could bronze it on all right Falaji try to hit a spell to cast off founding not quite uh we'll go chapter one I think go 
And then if they kill this founding, next turn I could just go play land five, founding on chapter two, play emergence. Oh, Frillback. Yeah, Frillback could be okay. That one's kind of clunky too, though, right? A big fan of Steam Core Scholar. I like this card. You know where I like this card too? Is the Blue White Mentor deck. I think it's very good in that deck. But I have not seen a lot of people playing it, and I don't really know why. Why not read ahead the Founding? So I'm trying to get maximum value off of Founding. So the reason that I'm not read aheading, I'm going to chump block. So the reason I didn't read ahead last turn is if I read ahead, then I have to cast a spell on this turn. But there's no guarantee that I'm going to have a spell to cast. And if I wait, then I can go uh, Emergence this turn and then flashback the Emergence the turn after. So I'm just like, it's just to get max value out of it, basically. So now I can get back Multiverse. Is that good? I guess it's pretty good, right? So we go here. Get back Multiverse. Play land from the top. And then I think we should... I can Founding for Mana to mill the Archaeologist to try to hit a Fatty off the top. Right? And then if I miss, then I can cast the other Emergence for free to get back a Traxa. Yeah, I'm going to cast this one for mana. Right, but I can just cast an Traxa for free and not use the Emergence. You know what I mean? Okay, or not. All right, so now we do this, get Atraxa, right? I will select Sorcery, uh, Land, and Creature. Commit three. All right, here we go. Good luck. We're going to play my Roots list by the updated version. How, how much did you change about this? Doesn't look like you changed a ton, but... Whoa, wait, am I dead? Seven, ten. <laughs> Brother, am I dead? What the fuck? Ariette's tempting apple? What the fuck? Okay, I got you. I'm at one. Not dead. Uh, get appled, idiot. Oh, I am dead. The apple just kills me. Holy shit. <laughs> Why are they playing Ariette's tempting apple? All right, game three. <laughs> Word. 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 Emergence the Atraxa for mana than getting a big spell of Atraxa for free. Uh, I didn't have six mana, right? Because I used three of it to get back the enchantment. And I only had two left over. We definitely got appled. How do you like them apples? We We certainly got appled, I'll tell you that much. I'm going to keep this in case they have duress. Keep both of these. Just get absolutely appled on, you know? Get absolutely appled. All right, you have a farmhand. You have a farmhand. I think I'm going to Tempest start here because I need to hit a land drop. Okay. One, two. I'm not upping my permanent count, which is a little frustrating. Um... Guess we just pass. Hold up, prankster. Okay. Butler is the biggest thing you should swap in. Yeah, Butler is nice with roots. I agree. I do like that.
Okay. Uh, definitely want those in the graveyard. Do I want this on top? How many permanents is this? It's only six. Uh, shit. Awkward. I'm one short, huh? Maybe I keep the founding then. Maybe five archaeologists. Yeah, I guess keeping founding is fine. Draw for turn. We can go here. Play Falagi. The Falagio. I will select Jace. And then maybe instead of founding, we just flashback gaze. No, because I kind of want the founding in play. So then the turn after I can emergence again. I think I like that. Just having this in play is nice. Again, only want to do it on chapter one here because I want to get full value out of the first next two, ta next two chapters. Okay, well, that's a punish. I mean, any land, land, untapped land would do it. Do I have an emergence in the graveyard? I do. Take two. All right, untapped land, please. Untapped land, por favor. Oh, they're doing that. Okay. Block. Untapped land, please. It's a land. It is definitely a land. One of the lands. <clears throat> okay, so I guess we go prankster so I can block the overseer. Pass. Go. <laughs> yeah, Temple of Tilt confirmed. We're going to lose to this apple again, though. Just you wait. Can never beat the apple. I don't know what that card does. Exile up to one target non-land permanent in opponent controls until Prayer of Binding leaves the battlefield. You gain two life. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Prayer of Binding has been called. Is it normal to run a format or a bubble spell? Uh, not exactly. Not exactly. Not exactly. Stack is a gimmick to beat Domain. What stack? Our opponent? Our deck or our opponent's deck? Perfect. I wanted the, I wanted the enchantment there. Yeah, we're not we're not prepared for the apple meta. Okay, so let's think about this. Is there a way that I can get two fatties into play this turn? I don't think so. If I flashback emergence, target multiverse. And then I can cast this one for free, get back the Atraxa. I guess all I need is a land, right? I just need an untapped land on top, then I can play this for... No, because then I can't play this, because this still costs two. I mean, I'm going to do it this way. I'm definitely going to do it this way. Target this. Maybe tight to play around Apple. I mean, this thing kind of plays around Apple, right? Okay, perfect. So now I can... Oh, wait, I still can't double spell, right? I can cast this for mana, but then I can't play this. Right. Oh, I can just hit another emergence off of the Atraxa this way, right? It's a bit greedy, but... Sandokas, thank you for the two months. Missed. We did miss... Uh, enchantment, creature, 
land? What's up, Sandokus? Yeah, or a Titan. Did not hit the Titan, though. So, I honestly think I should just play this to have a blocker in case they have Apple. <laughs> I could have played another Multiverse up a track, so that is true. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe I should have done that. I could have just taken Multiverse off the Atraxa. Just cast that. That, that. that probably would have been a little bit better. I mean, if as long as we untap, we're fine. Okay. Atraxa down. Yep. Take three. Yeah, now we can just get Titan back. They actually might just be dead to Jace, right? How many times can I Jace them? I can go Jace for free, mill 15, Emergence back Jace 15. That's only 30. Is there a way that I can get a third Jace in rotation? I doubt it, right? This thing has Ward 3. Ward 3, huh? So I guess I can't even kill that, right? Because this costs 5. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I can't even kill this. Mm, could just get another Atraxa. Founding third chapter for squirming. I don't have enough mana, right? Because this costs five. Yeah, I don't have enough mana for that. All right, I'm just going to put another Atraxa in play. Because then this can hit another Emergence to get back the Titan and then go from there, yada yada. Okay, perfect. So that, that, enchantment instant, land, submit five. And then we can go Emergence for zero, target Titan. I just want to gain life. <laughs> uh, gain. I'm honestly going to do it this way. I'm going to blow up the Prayer Binding. Just so I have another Flyer in case they have Apple. I'm just going to make as many Flying Blockers as possible, because I think that's the only way I can lose this game. Uh, sure, I'll play this for... Why not? Probably could have sequenced that a little bit differently, but it's fine. Let's take that one. No, it's X. Yeah, I'm just going to kill them with Jace at this point. Uh, Discard this. All right, go. <clears throat> Proceed. I got too many cards, man. Too many cards. Do I know if Asmo can target a Sanctifier? It cannot. Asmo cannot target Sanctifier. Eternal Wanderer, huh? How much do I care about that? Kind of feel like I don't. Kind of feel like I don't care about that. Okay, founding. Holy crap, Punk is not dead with the 5,000 bits. Thank you for the 5,000 biddies. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much, Punk. That's a lot of bits. All right, chat, how do we get to three Jace activations this turn? There's got to be a way, right? Well, thanks, Punk. I I'm also stuck in. I'm stuck at home in the snow. So this one's free. That's 15. How many emergence do I have left? Three. I have one emergence left. Must of all, gifting a sub to Punk is dead. Thank you for the gifted sub, Must of all. Jace for free, 15. Oh, okay, I guess we'll just attract her. I guess I guess I'll just cast an attract for free then. Fine. Fine, I'll cast an attract for free. If you insist. Enchantment, creature, sorcery, lange. Cards in deck, 12. Yeah, we're fine. Surely I'm not going to get milled out, right? Uh... Okay, so we'll play Founding. I'm basically just going to set up to mill them out next turn. That's my plan. One... 
Tempest Tard for free. Draw two, discard two. One, two, submit two. And then I have six mana left over. I kind of want to hold up Odawara in case that matters. I mean, I don't need to. I can just play this. I guess I am still holding up Odawara with this. All right, whatever, go. Uh, discard this. All right, go. Maybe I should have gone Founding Chapter 2, now that I'm thinking about it. Probably should have gone Founding Chapter 2. I don't know what zone any guard is anymore. Yeah, me neither. You and me both. Cards in deck, we have nine. It's a little sketch. Sure. No apple. Uh, even if they had apple, we could just... We could either bounce our own Atraxa or just block with Prankster. We weren't dead to Apple. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I know they can use the array, but I'm going to force it. Let me just jump block. Oh, okay. They just didn't do that? Why didn't they do that? All right, you mill four. 37. So I don't think I can Jace three times this turn, right? Might as well do this. I feel like I fucked this up somehow. Whatever, I'll just do I'll just do this. <laughs> I don't think it matters, but I'll just do this. <clears throat> What's our open con? Our, well, our ring condition is either attacking them with the Traxa or attacking them with Titan of Industry. But sometimes this this happens where you just get to these like Jace Milieu at games. Five, you mill fifteen. I don't even want to give them the opportunity to like get rid of the Jace somehow. Um. Oh, I can also just go founding here, right? Confounding on chapter. They have twenty-two cards. Go chapter one, I guess. And how many cards in deck? Seven. Nah, I'm just gonna pass. Oh yeah, I get the attraction back. I can just say no, right? Uh, I'll take founding. <laughs> Real mill deck. We are going to mill them out next turn. <clears throat> that's the plan. The plan is mill them out next turn. Sure, that's fine. Do you think they have a way to prevent decking? Punk is not dead. Thanks again for the 5,000 bits. And must of all, thank you for gifting a sub to Punk is dead. Thank you guys for the support. We're not dead to this, right? They need two mana for this. Right? They need two mana? They pawn? I mean, they probably drew the apple off of the Overseer, right? They clearly just didn't have this in hand. If they had this in hand, they would have cast it. They must have drawn it off of the Overseer. I guess I threw. I should have cast the Scholar. I forgot about Apple. We just had this conversation, too. <laughs> Yeah, not the apple again, please. Anything but the apple. Oh, wait, they can... Oh, my God, they can upkeep this. Oh, wait, they can upkeep the apple. Shit, can I gain life? I guess I can gain life with Titan, right? Uh, This is awkward. Okay, hold on. So I'm going to exile... I have to mill you for four... Exile Emergence. I think I fucked up. They have 20 cards in deck.
Okay, so we get back Titan. Yeah, I'm going to blow up the apple and gain life. Okay, auto pay here. So we go uh, gain five, blow up the apple. Go up to eight. God, I messed this game up so bad. <laughs> Takanuma while you had a track so I can't really Takanuma. I have five cards in my deck. I don't think I can Takanuma here. Um So this founding can just get me Jace next turn. So I actually don't even have to Jace again, right? Because they're on they're on 16 cards in deck. So I can even just get another Titan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we can just go founding for free. I'm sure this one doesn't matter. We're dead to second apple. Even if I put another Titan into play? Because I can just do this, right? Jason founding is lethal. Uh, no, because they have one. They'll have one garden deck, right? So I'm going to do this. I think. I think this is right. Then I can just mill them out next turn with the last founding. Uh, gain five. Blow up the light shield array, I guess. Jace is 15x2. Right, but... Wait, no. How is it 15x2? It's only 15x1. It's only yeah, I can only Jace once here. That's the problem. I can't Jace a second time, right? Oh, no, 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 no. The Steam guy's not Jace. Uh, I submit zero. <laughs> I think I probably messed this game up. And by probably, I mean, I almost certainly messed this game up. Okay, Trax is gone. That's fine. I feel like I probably could have killed them two turns ago if, if somehow double chased them. I, the turn where I definitely messed up was not putting the second one with the multiverse in my hand when I hit a Traxa, right? Because if I had just taken the second multiverse, I could have played it that turn off of the first one and then had a second one in play the following turn, and that would have been fine. At 11. I made this game a lot harder than it needed to be. We'll say that. We'll say that. I definitely made this game a lot more difficult than it needed to be. All right, my turn. All right, flashback, squirming emergence. All right, cool. <laughs> Jesus. What's my win rate versus mono red? Well, that was the first match we played with this deck, so zero and zero. You know... See, it's hands like this that make me realize that this deck is just a little too good, you know? Alright, this hand's fine. Is the Gamba if we get appled again? Yeah, maybe. Wait, I'm on the draw? I thought I was in the play. Fuck. Oh, they were going to five. Alright, give me a spell to cast off a of Founding. That is not a spell to cast off founding. Any... Uh, I could just flashback gaze, go for turn four. Let's just flashback gaze. No, there's no reenact the crimes. Rona. Rona. Um... Well, that's awkward. I mean, I guess I keep this, right? Yeah, I'll keep it. <laughs> Let me just go founding chapter... No, we still go chapter one, right? Yeah, I think we still go chapter one. Just to get max value on the turn after we squirm. The other option was graveyard the emergence, go chapter two, and then just flashback the emergence, but that only gives me one of these. Whereas if I do it this way, I can get two emergences. This, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm squirming. 
Oh, I'm squirming. She's squirming on my graveyard till I'm emerging. The problem with the big problem with reenact the crime is it just makes your mana terrible. It makes your mana so bad. Triple blue is rough. My turn. That is certainly the punishment for uh, waiting on chapter two, huh? Uh, oh shit! I can get a surveil land. Wait, that's gas. I forgot I could do that. <laughs> I forgot I could get surveil land up beside you. All right, cool. Anyways, emergency. <clears throat> yeah, never punished. What's up, Tandy? Thanks. Thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody from Tandy stream. We're doing some uh, squirming emergent stuff in standard. Welcome raiders. All right, so we have a multiverse in the graveyard, right? We do. So. We'll take sorcery, instant, enchantment. Definitely gonna take a Traxa. Cause I think my plan next turn is go land five, free the Fey, mill, get back one, cast the Traxa from hand. But I also might want to cast the second one. I think I do. And have two ones in play. I think having two of those is good. Yeah, I think having two of those is good. Founding? Do you not like founding more than... Oh, I should have played a blue source there. Do you not like founding more than having a second one with the multiverse in play? Because, like, they, their deck plays a lot of Besejus. I kind of like having a backup one with the multiverse. Because the next turn I just go... Get back multiverse, play multiverse with this one. Use the new one to play Atraxa. Why is my stream laggy and keep breaking out? Chat, is anybody else having any problems? Because on my side, the stream looks fine. No? Okay. Looks fine to me. <laughs> All right, good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> You're also downloading shit? Yeah, well, I mean, that would that would probably cause it, right? Ooh, that's interesting. It's all the greatest hits, Care Bear. Conveniently six. Well, it's weird because I kind of need to get the multiverse into play first, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, they also get back. Oh, you know what? I just realized. If I wrath the board, they get back double besiege you. Is that good? That feels bad, right? Because, like... Again, we can do the same thing where we just go... We have to go mill, emergence one, play one. But then where do I go from there? I don't want to cast Terror Tide, because if I cast Terror Tide, I lose the Atraxa, they this dies, they get back double besage you. They just besage you both of my multiverses, right? Do we have any basics in the deck? Uh, we have two basics, I think. But besage you, we can also get duels off of besage you, so I can get hedge, hedge maze. Yeah, fuck off, dude. Well, Atraxa survives currently, but not if I put mul the multiverse into play first. That's the issue. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with my line. I'm gonna do it this way. Why not Wrath now and just win? Well, I mean, Wrathing is not even that good. Like, the Wrathing, they just get back all their shit with Slow Gurk, right? Hmm, maybe that's dumb. Yeah, this was dumb. Letting them untap is really bad. Yeah, I shouldn't have done this. This was stupid. All right, whatever, I'll just do this. <laughs> whatever, it's fine, I'll do this now. All right, this was dumb, this was dumb. I should have done this first, obviously. <clears throat> yeah, I should have just Wrath first. Yeah, minus one attracts it, by the way. Channel Takanuma. Alright, cool. This Legends deck is really fucking hard to play against. What is this? Analyze the Pollen. Okay, sure. 
Funny enough, if I if I had terror tided first, they actually would have kept the slow in play, right? Okay, they get to keep the NT. They get to keep this anyways. Yeah, this wasn't even a good wrath. I think I should have just not cast it. This wrath just accomplished nothing. Even if I had cast it before the mill, it still would have done nothing, right? Why do they get double Odawara? Because their deck is broken. <laughs> There's literally, you can't, like, you can't do anything about this, you know? They just have an infinite value engine that you, there's nothing you can do about it. You cannot stop it. Like, I think I'm basically 0% this game. I don't think I can win. Unless I could somehow mill them out. Oh, shit, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muted, 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 muted. Any muted? Any primers? I don't know how to beat the slow Gurk deck. You can't. <laughs> you just can't do it. Any primers? Okay, we've already used both of the multiverses this turn. Not playing the one on top of my deck. Was there an attracts on top? I just didn't look. Get this. Get. I think we just take more Atraxas. Instant land, I guess. I played a land this turn. I have. Um. I can emergence back. I guess we can just cast this. Just cast that. Okay, I should have played the Atrax on top, then. That was my bad. Uh, discard one of these. Go. No idea if that's good enough. B. Hobbsy. What's up, B. Hobbsy? Thanks for the raid. How do I win this game, chap? Not sure that I can. Mm -mm -mm. I'm okay, Claustro. This is timeless. No, this is uh, you would think, given the the contents of my opponent's deck, but no, it is standard. My opponent is playing a legacy deck in standard. Yeah, I mean, I have to find the Jace. I have one Jace in my main deck. We haven't seen the Jace yet. That's probably my only victory. My only path to victory, though, is just like Jace Emergence Jace. Brother, can you stop taking game actions? Stop. All right, discard tracks now. Go. Taking so many game actions, dog. Yeah, that was our turn. Now they get to take 17,000 more game actions. Come on, dog. I just want to play. All right, chat. Ad break's coming up. Ad break is coming up. Folks, if you would not like to watch the ads, you can subscribe to the channel for free with a Twitch Prime sub or perhaps get lucky enough to get a gifted sub from one of our lovely Oilers. Wait, they pumped the NT? Deal. I'm not taking eight. No shot I'm taking eight. Wait, this thing already has Trample? Why does this card have Trample? What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know this thing had Trample. What the fuck? Must of all, gifting a sub to Phyrexia's Finest. Thank you for the gifted sub, Must of all. I, I now... Today I learned that Slogurk the Overslime has Trample. 
You think they're done taking game actions? I don't think so. Something tells me they're not done. Maybe one day I'll get a turn. Incredible Zoid, thank you very much for the two-month resub. Welcome back, Zoid. Yeah, whatever. See if I care. I got no lands. Is their deck actually good? It's good if you can, like, once you get the ball rolling, but it does have some some pretty anemic draws. All right, we got to find Jace. Oh, man. I'm at 18. How many cards do they have in deck, by the way? Oh, shit. They're only on 26. Problem is, I only have one Jace in my deck. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So nine mana. Jace costs four, right? Well, I guess three and a Phyrexian. So if I go three Phyrexian plus Emergence, how many cards is that? It's nine and 15, right? So it's 24. And they have 26, which is not enough. Um, founding. No, I think we just have to, to raw dog draw the Jace. I'm trying to think if I could Takanuma, mill the Jace, play a Jace Emergence, but I don't think I have enough. This is my last Emergence too, right? <clears throat> Do I ever get back Atraxa here? The only problem I have with getting back Atraxa is that's my last Emergence. Right? Right? So how can I how can I get back Jace if I get back a tracks of this turn? Can picklock into it? One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess picklock would be no, picklock doesn't get Jace, right? You mean Falaji into it? Picklock can't take Jace. But I can Falaji into it. So I guess we Falaji first to see if we hit the Jace. Oh, Pog. <laughs> Alright, sick. <laughs> Alright, cool. Nice deck. Californication. And I know I have emergence, so. Maybe you shouldn't have taken so many game actions, huh? Maybe you shouldn't have taken so many game actions. This is why you play one Jace, by the way. You only need one copy. It's actually kind of surprising how often... Oh, Sloker triggers. <laughs> it is kind of surprising how often emergence plus Jace comes up as just your win condition. It's kind of crazy. Pony Mills Eldrazi. Yeah, I don't think they're doing that. Honestly, it's your most it's your most common path to victory against Domain. Because, like, Domain has enough removal spells to keep you off of a Trax on Titan, but they just can't beat the endgame of Emergence Jace. Like, they don't have any graveyard hate. And they can't kill you quickly, so. It's usually what happens against Domain. Oh no, 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 not that. Oh seven for our opponent. Yep, your deck's gone. Where'd your deck go? Where did your deck go? They got a twenty two twenty two slow girk though. <laughs> Dude, I've never seen the decking animation. That's kinda hot. Alright, more Jaces, because I don't think we're ever killing them. Like we just we can't ever attack them, right? We have to mill them out with Jace. This is kind of making me want to play standard. Honestly, standard is the best format, and I don't think it's close. Standard is so good right now. It is unbelievably good. Is Graveyard Hate non-existent in Standard? No, I mean, there are good Graveyard Hate guards. Namely, Cauldron, and you can play on Licensed Hearse. People just don't respect the Graveyard decks. But you can just play Hearse in, in Standard if you wanted to. People just don't. Which is why you can play decks like this, because nobody respects them. Right? But once people start playing Hearse, then, you know, this deck becomes unplayable. We actually have two Timeless Dono decks this week, so we'll play a little bit of Timeless on Thursday. Yeah, Calamity... I was thinking about playing Calamity's Wake in my Convoke sideboard. 75k, it's the big tournament in Chicago. Do I want Terror Tide against them? I don't know if Wrath is even good. Like, we cast Wrath that game, and it did nothing, right? We, we Like, they had three creatures, we cast Wrath, and it had no effect. <laughs> they got back Slogurk and they bounced their own into like it just didn't do anything. 
Maybe anoint's fine because it exiles. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in the annoyance. I'll cut one Tempest Heart, I guess. Try that. You might need the speed bumps so they're they're forced to reassemble. I mean, like, we had it that game, and it didn't even take that long for them to reassemble. You know, this hand's nuts. This hand's, like, basically perfect. Any squirms? I don't kill the Rona, right? I guess I could. Yeah, fuck it, I'll kill the Rona. Kill the Rona. Cut them off the loots. I could save the the anoint there. Saving the anoint for Slowgurk potentially. But I can always flashback the anoint on four, right, if I want to. And that's probably okay. So we have five spells. Or five permanents rather. Uh, go ahead. Your turn. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Does it screw Squirm over? No. No, why would it screw Squirm over? Because we can just cast the Prankster this turn. I mean, sure. I could have put a thing into play this turn if I had cast the Prankster last turn, I guess. So. Yeah, no, I, I saw Calamity's Wake. I've considered that. I've considered that card. Goose Mama. Mama. Mama, I'm coming home. God, this song is a banger. This playlist hits. Hits diff. Do I have an untap land? I don't. Um, so I can't really, I can't cast this otherworldly. It's fine. I'm not super concerned with it. I'm going to go emergence back multiverse, play Titan for free, blow up the relic. That's my plan. The tax man. the other mode uh shield or 4-4 or four, four. i don't think shield matters that much against them right i don't think shield matters is goose mother really a standard card yeah this deck plays it mostly just because it's like it's what's cool about goose mother in this deck is this deck does have a tendency to flood out because it has relic of legends and 28 to 29 lands just because they play so many of the channel lands and if you're flooding out, then it's nice if you're flooding out. It's also just, you know, an early two drop that you can play. It's like, it's a fine card. It's not super great, but it's a curve filler. And it's, it's their only, they're really the, one of their only mana sinks. So it makes sense. What's up, Oka? Oh, yeah, I should have played the second enchantment. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> that was stupid. I, I forgot. Yeah, obviously I should have played the second enchantment. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, that was dumb. Papega, Papega, Papega. I'll do it this turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just forgot that I had it. Uh. This. Here. I'll gain five. I will defeat your Glissa. I attack. <clears throat> Your turn. Two Titan of Industries. The Indusy. Surely I can't lose the game from this position, right? 
surely I can't lose the game from this position. I don't need to pay mana for my spells, because I'm a Giga Chad. Why would I pay mana for my spells when I could just not? Yeah, but I feel like Relic and Slogurk might be a little too slow. I feel like it might be a little too slow. Something tells me that it might not be uh, might not be fast enough. Disdainful Stroke. That would have been good last turn. <clears throat> Surely that would have been a good one last turn. They're passing. All right, I'll play a land. Um, I'll play this for mana. All right, free. This one. I like how it asks you which one to which one do you want to use. That is pretty funny. All right, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm just doing it this way cuz I want to. I want to kill all their shit. Do players still fall for Titan Secret Reach? What do you mean? Oh. Oh, this Secret Reach. I, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think I'm going to cast that one again. I think, I'm a, I think I'm going to cast that one again. I think I'll choose to cast that. I think I'll cast it again. What do you think, Chad? I think I'll cast it again. All right, that was cool. Yeah, Thran Spider also has reach. Three, five, four. Let's go. Not Why not three, four, five? Did we do a gamba on that match? We did. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. All right, easy dubs. Yeah, you know, it's hands like this that just, you know, really, really make me realize why this deck is too good. Also, another banger. Another banger. Good enough, I guess. The hell do I put back, though? So, keeping two lands, founding, squirming, and I guess just put back two fatties? Just keep the steam core? It's It kind of feels weird, right, though? Because I want to keep the steam core and the big dude. But I can't do that unless I keep steam core, fatty, squirming two lands. But I can't put back founding. That seems insane. Maybe I keep maybe I keep big thing and hope to draw either another steam core or the two mana draw two discard two. We have nine total bangers, three of each. So I'd still have seven left, which is probably fine. Yeah, it's probably fine to just do it this way. Yeah. Yeah, there's nine there's nine hitters in the deck. Nine biggins. Monk ass. I'm in danger. But we can uh, we we can talk about this. Okay, banger acquired. Um, probably have to go chapter two. And maybe hope to hit a spell off the founding for next turn. Okay, spell acquired. Well, I might upkeep. I don't know. We'll see. I, re I really need to hit my land drop. You know what's really unfortunate and what kind of doesn't make a lot of sense? So with founding the third path, right? With the first chapter, you can play the adventure spell from your hand. But on chapter three, you can't flashback the adventure spell. Explain. Why does it work like that? Why? I mean, I know why, but also why, you know? Three permanents in Graveyard. 
Maybe I have to high roll. Just try to high roll the land. And then play Scholar. Three, four, five, six. That's not even good enough, though. No, we have to do this. Probably gonna lose this game. Yeah, this isn't even good enough. Right? It's not even good enough, because I have to keep a land. Yeah, this doesn't even do it. Yeah, I would have hit. Because now I have six in the graveyard, so... Yeah, we can't win this game. Well, maybe if they're playing Red Herring, we can win. All right, I'll cast this. Uh, decline. One. Two. There you go. Red Herring, folks. Red Herring. I have not tried out the crime decks yet. Yeah, I did kind of think about that a little bit. Just to have two multiverses in play. Trade go to five. Mm. Well, how about now? Uh, hold on a second, cancel. Need to make sure I tap correctly. Uh, black, green, colorless. I choose this. Should I play the land first, or try to attract them to an untapped land? I think I should try to attract them to an untapped land. Because I'm going to play Falaji. Uh, sorcery, land... Enchantment creature. Balaji. I just want two blockers. Unless they burn us out, we can't lose this game. They very well could burn us out, but we'll see. Dodge, please. One time. Do not have lightning strike plus play with fire. Please no burn. Please no burn. Please no burn. Please no burn. Holds. They've already used two play with fires. No burn, please. <clears throat> no burn. No burn, no burn, no burn, no burn. Should have made a 1-4. Uh, why does the 1-4 matter? I mean, it's it's do they have 5 damage of burn or not, right? Otherwise, they can't win. I don't think the counter matters. Maybe it could. I doubt it would. Keeping Herring alive would have been nice with the Traxa. That is true. Yo, chill. Yo, chill, dog. You got dragons? Oh. Oh, right. They can, um... Yeah, they can frenzy. Oh, they're not frenzying, though. Wait, what? Well, I guess they don't have frenzy. <laughs> I was like, wait, they could have had frenzy, but... Did they fuck up? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's, uh... I don't think that's what you wanted to do. <laughs> Something tells me that's not what you wanted to do. Uh, all right, cool. Next game. They were close. They could. They had four damage in their hand. They did have four damage. All right, definitely not a Jace matchup. Uh, what? It, what kind of matchup is it though? Like, how much removal do I want against them? I'd almost rather have Duress, because Duress can break up. Like, if they if they have the threaten in their sideboard, and I actually think I care more about that than their creatures. Scholar can maybe go. Yeah, I mean, basically, if they don't have five direct five points of direct damage, then their decisions don't really matter that much. I agree. Scholar could be a little too slow against them. I could buy that. Most of the time on turn three, I want to. I just want to get to emergence so we can cut these. Bring in three to rest. Call it a day. Let's try that. Could maybe cut a heart for the fourth to rest. Why do people think Duress is bad against Rana Red? Like, all of their spells are super high impact. Uh, this one's a bit sus. A bit sus. Hmm. Better. Back Tempest Heart.
Yeah, the second second tap land's kind of awkward with this hand. I mean, I'm just gonna graveyard that. Just I need to find stuff. Need to find stuff. No. Any new cards for Gruel Picnic? The only new card that I've seen that kind of interests me in Gruel Picnic is maybe Breakout, but probably the two one Prowess Haste Fugitive Code Breaker. That card's nice. I bet you I blew it in, soul with, in Pioneer with the Gear Drake. Yeah, we tried it yesterday, Red Arrow. It was nice. I think we, we picked up a 4-1. They have Shiv and Devastator, Pog. What a Chad. Just classic Chad behavior. Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to do the combo. Combo acquired. Okay. That's a hit. That's going to be a hit for me. Easy. I mean, we do get punked if we mill a not a permanent. If we mill a spell, then we can't get it back. But we just we won't. It's we simply will just not mill a spell. You know, we'll just only mill permanents. Monstrous rage. Oh, I'm raging. Are they gonna flip the invasion? Ayo. Yo, chill. Yo, chill. Yo, 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 yo. Fun to chill. Chill out. All right, don't mill a spell. Just mill four permanents, please. Okay, I drew the duress. Good. No spells, no spells, no spells. Fuck! God damn it. Uh, the stupid terror tide, dog. Stupid terror tide. We can't survive, can we? Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen. I think we're dead, Xaxes. Could play a prankster, I guess. It's my only out. This thing have trample. It does have trample. <sighs> All right. Yeah, of course. One turn too short, huh? One turn too short. So close, chat. So close. Oh, we tanking. Okay. <clears throat> Could chump block that. So dragons trigger, put me to nine, block here, take six, go to three. All right. I guess we're not dead. Your cat just attacked your dinosaur pet on the screen. Your cat's based. All right, I block. Get three. Uh, well, we can't cast Terror Tide, so I guess we just dress them. And then Emergence back to Titan. Brother, why is it showing a different dress art? What the hell? That's got to be a bug. Thrill Seeker and Picnic Ruiner. Okay. So, do we... Hmm. It's got to be gain life, make a 4-4, right? I'm still dead on board if I do that, <laughs> right? <clears throat> yeah, I'm actually still dead on board if I do that. Whatever, they won't see it. Wait, what if I put a... No, I can't put a tracks into play, can I? Because then I just die to the triggers. Uh... All right, fine. Maybe they won't go for it. They will simply just not go for it. All right, hold. Hold. Our opponent's dragon strategy appears to be getting us. Getting us good. All right, all right. You you win, you win, you win. Game three. 
Okay, Duress did not look super great that game. And they also didn't show us any, um, any witch gods. They didn't show us any of the, uh, the threatens. We'll do cutdowns in the play then. I don't know if I want the fourth cutdown. It isn't a permanent. It's just a, that's a lot of spells, isn't it? Four, eight, thirteen. Thirteen's kind of a lot. Tied pretty slow. I mean, I'm on the play. I don't think I want to cut Terror Tide against Mono Red. But it is four mana. We could just do minus one Terror Tide for the fourth cut down. It's probably okay. It feels weird to cut Wrath against Mono Red, though. Thoughts on adding one Portal to Phyrexia for one one with the Multiverse? I tried Portal when I first started playing this deck, and I think I liked I like Multiverse a little bit better than Portal. They kind of serve different roles. But I, what I like about Multiverse is it's better when you're trying to go for the J skill, where you're just like, cast Jace for free, minus it, Emergence, get back Jace, minus it, milp them out. So it's it's much, much better when you're going for the J stuff, which happens a lot against Domain. I could see cutting the Terror Tides entirely. That card's like, kind of whatever for me. I could see that. Yeah, it's like it's it's a wrath, but it's also a big payoff for emergence. So it's kind of it kind of serves two roles at that point. Yeah. Mm -mm. Sure, tight tight is definitely more castable. But I I do like that portal gives you another big like a big payoff kind of thing. Another big fatty. I'm gonna graveyard all three. I already have three lands. If that was a green source, I might have kept it. <clears throat> have we revisited Bant Toxic recently? No, but I don't really know what changed. I don't think there's anything from the new set that I want to play in Toxic. Oh, not the Herring. Please, not the Herring. Am I killing this? I really want to cast Free the Fae this turn. I'll take two. Hmm. Should have cut down, I guess. It's okay. Now I can go Prankster, Hold Up Gaze, slash Cut Down. I block. How many permanents? One, two, three... Four, seven, right? No, six. Six. It's okay. We can gaze for the seventh one. Is it Black Virtue kind of sick for this deck? The list that I copied had Black Virtue over Steam Core Scholar, but I really wanted to try the the Black Vir the Steam Core Scholars. But you could play Virtue. My only problem with Virtue is like you might think that Virtue is a big payoff for Emergence. It kind of is, but the problem uh, I should have had an upkeep stop. The problem with with the virtue is uh, you like you put the virtue into play, but then you don't get the effect immediately. Whereas with other stuff like attracts a titan, portal, all that kind of stuff, you get the effect immediately, which I think means it's a little bit better. Four three trample players can't gain life. Okay, I'm with you. Shut up and dance with me. All right, no life. Good thing I'm at 18. Can't gain life, but I can still attack you. Post-combat T-Swift. <coughs> Get together. Do, 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 do. Still getting Titan back, right? Hmm. This is weird. I mean, I guess I could graveyard the cutdown. Right? If I graveyard the cutdown, cast another gaze, I could try to find something underneath the emergence to cast for free off of the multiverse. Which I think is fine. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Flashback this one. I could even upkeep the other one. Yeah, see, this is exactly what I wanted. This is just perfect. Can I get this back? 
Auto pay. Do this. There we go. Titan on top. All right, I will select sorcery, land, instant, enchantment, creature. Uh, your turn. I'll attack for one. Minus one. <clears throat> Did I like the blue-white artifacts deck? Yeah, it was actually pretty good when I played that deck, Big Z. I liked it a lot. What I like a lot about that deck is the curve is so low. So you just, that deck feels more so almost than any other deck that I've played that you just get to use your mana efficiently every single turn. And you never run out of stuff to do because you have so many mana sinks. It felt really strong. And Crypticote is also busted. Crypticote and uh, the, the five drop, Ezrith I think it is, those cards are both insane. Mm. Grieve Yard. Grieve to the yard. Dun, 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 dun. How many permanents? Ten. All right, I'm actually just going to cast the Wrath this turn. I'm going to attack first. I mean, they can't win, right? Game's over. Yeah, that's that was my plan. My plan was cast Terror Titan and Titan. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, they just can't beat this. All right, easy dubs. 309, folks. 309. These hands are just too good. They're too good. All right, I keep. What's the 03 out of Updaily Golds? I don't know. I'll check it after. Remind me. It sounds like he's singing backwards. Maybe he is. Maybe Pearl Jam is just devil's music. What a graveyard that. Looking for the enchantment founding. Looks like Boros. Boros. No, they don't have Knight Errant. That's good. Okay. Emergence acquired. Kind of wish I didn't bottom that terror tide, huh? What if I just played a 1-3? That's got to be bad, right? I could have I think I have this turn. Preserve a little bit of damage. I'm going to make a 1-4. I don't think I want this in my hand. Because I can just cast this next turn. <clears throat> What deck do you recommend currently for Pioneer? Um, I mean, I've only been I've only played a little bit of Pioneer since the new set came out. Uh, tough to say. I mean, I, I like the uh, the Insole deck that we were playing last night, but I don't know if I would necessarily recommend that one. Three. Huh. This is awkward. I actually don't think that I can. I don't think I can get back anything next turn. Because I only have three in the graveyard right now. If I go free the Fey, it puts four. But I, I, you can't, you can't choose to not put a card off Pank off Prankster, which is like kind of sketchy, you know. If I wish that you could, because if you could choose to not put a card off of this, then I certainly would do that. But I'm just gonna play Scholar here. I think it's what I have to do. Oh, okay. Well. That's lucky. I'm going to discard two here. I think the other, the Tempest hard. Yeah, discard two. And we have two blockers. It's not too bad. Yeah, they mold the five. I mean, it's a good mold of five. So I guess now it's probably just Operation Draw a Black Source. Because I can't cast Emergence next turn no matter what I do. Unless both of these die somehow, which I don't think is happening. Alright, Black Source, please. Easy. Well, 
Is that even good enough? Why did I discard heart there? Why would I... No, I wanted to put an extra thing in the graveyard for emergence. I did that on purpose. So if I tied, I have to go to eight. They end step, make a barracks token. I go to seven. This puts me to five. I mean, I have to, right? What's my alternative? My alternative is free the fey, prankster, two blockers. Yeah, that doesn't do it. You can emergence. What can I... I can emergence a six drop, but I only have six. I don't have seven. It's only six right now. I have to do this, I think. Last time I checked, I don't think Atrax is a six drop. I could be wrong. The bivouac, huh? All right, well, um, hmm, hold on a second. Do we Atraxa or do we Titan? Titan could go pop, call, gain five, and then Atraxa next turn. Yeah, I think pop, call, gain five is good, and then just Atraxa next turn. Oh, wait, we can't attract the next turn, unless I... No, I can upkeep Gaze, I guess, and hit it on tap land. So, yeah, the plan might be upkeep Gaze now. Second Mirax. Yeah, but I can upkeep Gaze. I think I have to kill the Call there. The Call just represents so much damage if I don't kill it. I did Man Leggings, yeah, I did see that deck. Tokasia's Welcome. I haven't tried it yet, but I did, I did see the deck list. Um, so yeah, none of these two matter. We'll just keep that. If I'm putting a Trax into play, then keeping a land doesn't matter, right? Alright, don't deal me 8 damage somehow, please. All right, cool. Easy. Opponent's playing Boros Convoke, which means I want these Malicious Eclipse. I think that's really it. I'm going to cut the Scholars. No, I'm going to cut the Jays. Keep a Scholar, I guess. I don't think I want any of the Spot Removal against them. Like, Spot Removal is just not good against Convoke. You inspired me to play Standard. Signed up. I've played four matches. My opponent has cast turn two bet every single game I've played. I hate this format. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. It is good versus Warden, yeah. Is it better enough than, like, Tempest Heart, maybe? We could do two cutdowns. I don't want a ton, though. I don't want to have too many spells. Because if you have too many spells, then you mess with your um, emergence numbers. Folks, do we get any primers in the chat? Chad, I'm about to blow your mind right now. Did you know this? You ready? I'm gonna you're gonna you're gonna shit your pants when I say this. Did you know that if you take if you have an Amazon Prime account, if you're subscribed for Amazon Prime, and you take that Amazon Prime account and you log in and you link that to your Twitch account, you get one free sub every single month? Did you guys know that? I bet you didn't. Now you do. I don't know what you're gonna do with that information, but uh, mm, that sounds cringe. That sounds also kind of cringe. I don't want to go to five, though. Do, 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 do. I really need an untapped land. I'm playing with Skrelv's Hive? All right, well, we died. Didge. I mean, at least they're playing a little bit slower. They're giving me a lot more time. And I do kind of need time with this hand. All right, well... If I can find a land next turn, we're chilling. He 
Maybe they're a token deck. Yeah, I guess they didn't show us Night Errant last game. Would you say that your batting average is super high right now? Yeah, I was waiting for Beers to tell me that he was actually doing the bat heist. They should make a like a specific bat heist queue on Arena. That's what they should do. It seems like you're the only person having that issue, though. Chat, is the stream lagging or cracking for anybody else besides J-Rock? It's very odd. Because, I mean, the stream looks fine on my end. It looks perfect to me. So, I don't know. I, I, I feel bad, but I wish I knew it was happening. I just don't. Okay, that's not a land. All right, run it back. Chapter Juan. I guess I'll get the other sweeper, just in case. You open a queue for bad heist, which you only... Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't do that then, huh? I guess the bad heist queue wouldn't do anything. They're playing the Epicure into the Wrath. Hmm. I wish I had a one with the multiverse. Flips does not kill the Inspector either, for whatever that matters. Hmm. Is it just the Tracks of Prey? Could be Titan, I guess. We could Titan this turn and then Attracts the next turn, or I could just Titan both turns. Right? We go like Titan, pop call, make a 4 4. Block, block, take 3, go to 5. Next turn, Titan, pop. Welcome gain. Yeah, I think we have to tighten here. I think I'm going to go 4-4 four, four, pop call. Tough spot, though, for sure, without having land 4. Yeah, I guess you can't do the bat queue, because then you would just queue into every, everybody else would have bats and nothing else. <laughs> so it's like you actually wouldn't get anywhere. That wouldn't do anything. I guess if you're both playing with four bats, 56 lands, you would just mold a zero and choose to draw. Or no, you would choose to play. Yeah, mold a zero, choose to play. Right, I will block. Uh, I guess I'd rather not take poison. I do want to kill their X2, though. I don't think poison matters that much. I mean, I am at five poison, I guess. Maybe it could matter. 20 swamps, 36 bats, 4 racks. Why not 10 racks? Why stop at 4? Wedding announcement. Announcement received. Announcement received. Alright, what the fuck do we do this turn? Like, <laughs> which one of these three do I kill with Titan? They're all kind of equally annoying. I could also just attract so. It probably does make sense to kill Hive if I'm planning on casting Eclipse the turn after. So just like kill Hive, make a 4 4. <clears throat> could also attract to them. But that lets them keep the Hive in play. I really don't want them to keep the Hive in play. I don't think I do. I think I'm gonna pop hive and make a 4 4. Yeah, pop hive, make a 4 4. Yeah, then we could just eclipse next turn. I think I am allowed to attack with one Titan, leave back three blockers. Because they don't have the creature land. I can attack with one Titan, I think. Pop Hive gain five. Why'd you want to gain five there? I guess this is why you wanted to gain five. Because <laughs> now if they have call, I'm dead. Yeah, if they have call, I'm dead. 
I could have just not attacked with the Titan, I guess. 14, 22. What's 22 minus 8? 14. Yeah, so they're, they're dead if I can cast Eclipse. I can just cast Eclipse and then attack for 14. Okay. Let's be to 4. No call, please. No call, please. No call, please. One time, no call. I don't care about that. I guess they can survive by sending the Skrelv tokens, because they can gain three. I mean they have the they can put me to one here if they want. If they don't have if they don't have call. Or yeah, if they don't have call. Dead to any removal spell. Alright, I'm gonna block these three. Go to one. <coughs> it's a bit dicey. It's a wee bit dicey. Yeah, Blue White Coats was the first deck we played. That deck was nice. Coats really good. Also, Ezrim is nuts. Oh, wait, no. As of right now, they're still dead, right? Because they can block a 4 4 and take 18. So if they had nothing, they're still dead. I played the Tezzeret for two matches, and then I ended up cutting it for a second Ezrim and a fourth. Uh, Zoetic Lift. Just because I, I think Ezrim is just better than Tezzeret. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but that card is so hard for a lot of people to beat. Chat, wake up. Wake up. <clears throat> wake up. Wake up. Dable. Dable. I mean, I just attack, right? If they have reinforcements, we can just cast Wrath Post Combat. They definitely have reinforcements, but yeah. All right, fine. Fine. Mm, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. They got a one. Got them one point short. Is there any way I can do this by not casting the Wrath? Uh, don't think so. All right, I'll cast it. And pass turn. <clears throat> Please don't kill me. Dead to Epicure. Oh, they went to one off the Hive. Ah! It's not too bad so far, Metabula. But I haven't gone outside to shovel out yet, but I will at some point. I'll probably do it like tomorrow morning. No Epicure, please. No Epicure, please. No! No! God! So close. All right, game three. Game three. Chat, did you know that if you subscribe to the channel with Twitch Prime, you can send your energy to us for game three? Only with those primes, though. Any primers? Red Eyes, thank you for the four-month resub. Aspiring Spike redeemed a deck tech. I kind of want to refund you instantly without even looking at it. I keep. Is it a standard deck? If you're sending me an Ash tweet, it's probably a standard deck. The Return of Anvil. I did see this deck. I haven't gotten around to playing it yet, but it looked really sweet. Um, I think I hedge on one. I'll show it. Hold on. Hold on. I'll show it. I'll show it. I'll show it. Do, 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 do. Let me just get it full screen for you guys. Do, 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 do. do. This song is so good. Think. All right, hold on. Uh, here. You are the only one that needs to. Oh yeah, you can look at it while I'm playing my game. How's that? I block. So what don't we like about this? What if I just like it all? 
dirty little secret. Who has to know? Such fragile lives. I already have... Do I have double black? I do not currently have double black. That's awkward. But I already have a cut down. I'm just going to take Eclipse. Uh, go. No, 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 no. Go. <clears throat> All right, four Siren, three Glare, three Torch, four Epicure, Anvil, Harvester, Gear Drake, Offering. I really don't like these Krenkos. Personally, I think I would probably I would probably want to play more Urbrask's Forge. I think that card is just so busted. So I would probably max out on Forge less Krenkos and probably play the fourth Torch the Tower. I think. I think I would do something like that. I'll look at it more after this game, but that's like my initial reaction. I mill four. Are we ever going to mill an emergence? Any emergences, please. Can I please get an emergence? Shut up! Tater Tot, thank you for the 29 months. Cranko is more busted than Forge. Yeah, but it's... I don't know. I just... I don't like that card that much. Counterpoint Cranko is sweet. I mean, it's not not sweet, right? Like... It's definitely not not sweet. Why are you attacking? I'm gonna block, dude. I block. What? Stop wasting our time. I'm fucking blocking. Yeah, I'd probably go less Krenkos, more Forges. Four Offering might be too much, but you probably need to with the Gear Drakes and stuff. My biggest issue with this is probably the mana base. You know, like how is does the mana work in this deck? How many like how much untapped of each do we have? Like, turn one, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. You only have eight blue for Siren, and then you have four, five, six, ten, thirteen black, and then one, two, six, only nine untapped red. It's kind of all, it's kind of not a lot. Yeah, my, I think my biggest, my biggest fear is the mana base, but it looks sweet as hell. All right, dude, whatever. I'll take three. I don't care. I do not care. Brother. <laughs> and I don't only really have one black source in play. Come on, man. What is happening? How do I only have one black source? Alright, I guess I'll cast cut down. How is this happening? Kill this idiot. Yeah, only got one black source. Uh sure. How is this happening, by the way? Yeah, I really think that's the only thing I would change is cut the Krenkos, cut three Krenkos for two two Forge and the fourth Torch. I'm trying to think if there's any other cards that I would want to play in this deck. Oh, well, that's not where I wanted to go. Opponent's got me all messed up. I'll look at I'll look at it more after. <clears throat> <coughs> you watched Ash play a lot. It was the best card in your deck. What Krenko? Maybe. Wait, why am I blocking these? Stop, 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 stop. Block these ones. I'm all over the place, chat. I'm all over the place. Is this a Packer appreciation stream? No. Never. Please give me a black source. Inshallah, I will draw a black mana source. It's going to be a Dark Slick Shores now. I can't believe we're in this position. <laughs> I feel like we should have never lost this game, but we bricked so hard. We didn't draw a Black Source. We didn't draw... We never drew a Black Source. We never saw a... Um... Brother! <clears throat> no Black Source, no squirming in the top 30, 27 cards. Yeah, all right, all right. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. All right. Uh, let's look at this deck more. Let me keep this. Maybe this was a mull, actually. It does have gaze into Falaji, but having these in my opening hand is kind of awkward. Yeah, we're going to play Sultai Roots next. Drag the canal. Blue black, make a 2 2. If a creature died this turn, gain 2, surveil 2, investigate. It gives you an artifact. What would you want to play? What would you want to cut for Drag the Canal? Mm. 
but it seems pretty easy to turn that card on in that deck. You're almost always sacrificing stuff. I could buy it. It's an instant, too. Society, if my Convoke opponents could just, like, have a, you know, slightly normal draw that wasn't the Stone Cold Nuts. Imagine. Imagine. I think we have to Graveyard all three. We have two Sweepers main deck. That is definitely not one of them. Kind of wish I kept the Prankster now. Um, all right, I have to do this to have a blocker. I'm good. I think I'll pass. <laughs> they have thread portal and sucks. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess it, I guess this isn't the, the nut draw because they drew thread portal. Not going well. Not going well. All right. Founding on chapter two. We have to hit the wrath, I think. Oh, we hit the wrath and the emergence. Interesting. Well, if we're not dead, we have a chance. Probably dead, though, right? Oh, right, we can't cast the Wrath, right? Good point. Yeah, that's true. Because we don't have the extra land in play before this goes to Chapter 4. So, well, hold on. Wait, we can go... We can go Emergence back one with the Multiverse, play Atraxa for free. Hope that's good enough. Welcome to the new age. Uh, do I want the land first? No, because it's a tap land. I could find untapped blue source plus... I could find untapped blue source plus gaze. Wait, I did it again. Why didn't I play the other one with the multiverse? God damn it. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, I should have played the other multiverse for sure. Uh, I guess I'll take this. <clears throat> I always forget that. No attacks. I should have another multiverse in play. I mean, if I as long as I don't die, it doesn't matter. Uh, are we dead? I don't think we're dead, right? Block, block, go to 14, take 8, go to 6. Yeah, we're not dead. <clears throat> then we should be fine if we untap. Because then we can just go Titan, blow up the call, gain 5. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, we're going to play Salt Eye Roots. Good afternoon. If you're on the hunt for a combo deck, is that there is that Breach Recur deck that's pretty nutty. The Breach Recur deck? You, you mean the... Um, you're referring to Reenact the Crime? That's a deck that I haven't tried yet. No, not yet. Even though they're like sweet Rhinos decks, they still won't get me to play Modern. <laughs> they won't do it. They won't do it, I promise. They'll never do it. They'll never get me. They'll never get me. All right, I don't want to play anymore. <clears throat> All right, Wrath coming in. We said, what, cut down against Warden last game? Cut these, cut these. Cut the Jace, play three cut downs. Done. Cascade is cringe? No, Modern is cringe.
I look forward to Domain decks playing Blood Moon to the sideboard. Yeah, they just, like, fetch three basics with the ley line, and then, all right, Blood Moon, yeah, I still have all, all five types. Oh, okay, I know, I think I know what you're talking about. A little bit different than the, than, than the, um, than the Reenact the Crime decks, but I think I do know what you're referring to. Okay, I keep this, put back this. Novus Inspector. That's a good draw. What hold up got down here? In case they play Warden. Mm. I'll let them take got down. Should everyone just be playing Defense Grid? I was talking about this on the podcast last night. I think Defense Grid is the single best card against Rhinos. That... Yeah, more people should probably be playing Defense Grid. I guess I'll take it. You thought you could keep me off founding. Not for long, buddy. Not for long. All right, founding. Mm, chapter one's fine. Cast this. Ooh, a Terror Tide. <laughs> a Terror Tide and an Emergence. You shouldn't have. Uh, I'm going to take Terror Tide for next turn. And then we can go Emergence on chapter three. Right. And we have more shit in the graveyard. I think that makes sense. Okay. We got reinforcements and a novice inspector. Okay, so I'm on five right now. Five's not a lot. It's actually really awkward because it's only going to be six next turn. I mean, obviously I have to tide, right? I'm not going to not cast my wrath. But. There's actually not really a good way for me to do this now. Because I can only squirm for six. So maybe I don't squirm here. What? Yeah, you know what? I'm actually just going to do this. I'm going to play Founding on Chapter 2. Chapter 2, Mill 4. Yeah, this works. And then I could just... I can Emergence next turn. Yeah, this is perfect. I guess they could blow up the, the Founding now. Could be awkward. Alright, I'll keep that just in case. It's felt really powerful. We lost... We've only lost one match so far to the, to the Boros deck. Which, they did have a pretty good draw that game that we lost, but it's felt really good. It's been consistent. I like it. There's just not a lot of graveyard hate, you know? And I think that's what part of what makes it so appealing to me. It's just, there's just not a lot of graveyard hate. Um, what do we put into play? I could multiverse, but... What am I doing if I multiverse? Just, like, casting some shitters... It's probably just the tracks, all right? Yeah, it's got to just be a track, so. Choose up to three. I will select instant uh, creature land. Graveyard that play this pass. Uh, could be a little sketch if they have an answer for Atraxa. Yeah, the playlist is on fire today. I do like this playlist. It's not even mine. It's I I'm just listening to somebody else's like stream playlist, but <laughs> it's been pretty good so far. I like it. Um 
Yeah, playlist thief. I've stolen it. Don't tell anybody. All right, I tech. Are they still playing? I guess we can go here. Let's do it again. We'll do it again. There we go. I'll take that. I'll do this. They don't want to play anymore. Have you hard cast the fatties yet? No. Well, the thing is, in your mana base, you're not actually playing a white source to hard cast the Traxa. So the only fatties you can hard cast are Multiverse or Titan of Industry, but neither of those came up during the games. All right, easy dubs for the Gamba. Let's talk a little bit about this for the YouTubes. <clears throat> Net playlist here. Yeah, you've heard of NetDecker before, but how have I and now how, what if I introduced you to the Net Playlister? All right, folks, another four and one. Lost that one match to Boros, but this deck felt pretty good. I um, Tempest Heart is a card that I'm not a hundred percent sold on yet. The one thing that is nice about Tempest Heart and also Steam Core Scholar is if you're not playing with these two cards, you don't really have a way to get your your big stuff out of your hand and into the graveyard. So I think some number of just, you know, draw discard does make a lot of sense. I don't know if that should be for Steam Core Scholar. I don't know if that should be more Tempest Hearts, but some number of, of draw discard is good. It is nice with Tempest Heart that you can cast it for free off of the Founding of Third Path. So maybe it is better to just play more Tempest Hearts for that reason. Uh, because the body on Steam Core Scholar just doesn't matter a lot of the time, right? 2-2 two -two Flying Vigilance, it's kind of whatever. But yeah, I mean, obviously you're going to play 16 of the self mill. You're going to play four of these. The other thing we talked about was potentially cutting a Terror Tide for a Portal to Phyrexia. And I actually kind of don't hate that. What's nice about Portal to Phyrexia is it's very similar to Terror Tide in that it's a Wrath, right? They sack three dudes. But what's nice about Portal is it's a Wrath that's also another payoff, right? Now, granted, you can't cast this for four mana, and that's the big issue. So, you know, maybe keep that in mind, but it could be interesting to play one or maybe two portals over the Terror Tides. Um, I think you should still keep the main deck Jace. It does come up a lot. You know, there, there are situations where you just can't attack past your opponent, and the Jace is very good at just being able to kill them or win a game where you can't otherwise win through combat. And then definitely want the other two Jaces in the sideboard for the domain matchup. Duress is good. Cutdown's good. Yeah, deck felt good. So if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, YouTube! <clears throat>